Hello, and welcome to the Irwin Evolve Suite 2020 introduction and what's new. As the data governance company, Irwin provides enterprise modeling, breaking down organizational and technical silos for collaboration across key data and business architectures. Data cataloging and data literacy software combined in a data intelligence capability that enables you to automate your data operations and provide business users with better visibility and understanding of the data they need to be more effective. Together, these products comprise the Urban Edge platform that creates an enterprise data governance experience to facilitate strategic collaboration between the IT and the business. Data governance as the hub and driving principle, the enterprise and its critical architectures are connected to enable the discovery, understanding, governance, and socialization of data assets and supporting information to reduce risks and realize the desired operational results. In today's session, we're going to focus on the Erwin Evolve Suite, which is part of the Erwin Enterprise Modeling Suite. This is the Erwin Evolve Suite 2020. The Erwin Evolve web platform is at the heart of the Evolve Suite and is flanked by the main components. Here we have the Erwin Evolve Modeler, the desktop modeling component, as well as the new Erwin Evolve Web Modeler. Full diagramming via the web platform is now available. And in addition, we have the Erwin Evolve document generator, which is used to create documentation in Word or PDF based on the repository content. The Erwin Evolve Analytics Accelerator, which makes the data in the Evolve repository readily available to business intelligence tools for complex analysis. And lastly, the Erwin Evolve frameworks, such as TOGAF and DODAF, which are accessible across all areas of the Erwin Evolve Suite. Here are the main features of the Erwin Evolve Suite 2020. The Erwin Evolve Web Modeler allows for a quick and easy way to create and update diagrams directly from the Evolve Web Platform. This is a fully functional modeler and all diagram types can be updated from Evolve Web. In addition to creating diagrams from scratch, as well as modifying existing ones in an intuitive web UI, you can also collaborate live with other users and see changes made while you are modeling. There's also a drafting capability and multiple drafts of models can be saved as well as validated before being published to a wider audience. In addition to the Erwin Evolve Web Modeler, the Erwin Evolve Web Platform has received improvements to its performance and scalability to allow for the support of large scale implementations and more integrations with third party tools. Lastly, other features of Erwin Evolve 2020 include a new indicator, shape region and API extension on model growth and support for indirect relationships with jump and merge. We are sure that you will find these new updates to the Erwin Evolve suite helpful and quite possibly even game changing. Now we're going to take a look at the new Evolve Web Modeler in a live demo. Here is Urban Evolve Web. Some of you may be very familiar with Urban Evolve Web. This is our web platform for navigating through the repository, for navigating through diagrams. You have a variety of ways in which to navigate through here, either through drilling down via diagrams or navigating via the the menus on the left. Of course, there are always breadcrumbs available, so we can always go back and forth via the navigation at the top. But what I'm going to show you today is the new Evolve Web Modeler. So in order to get into the Web Modeler, we can simply choose a diagram that we want to edit. I'm going to drill down on sales and marketing, and I can drill down on manage sales. I can start editing any one of these diagrams, but really the goal here is to just get to a spot where we want to make some changes. Once you get to a diagram where you would like to make changes, in order to do that, to launch the web modeler, all you have to do is click on this little edit button. And that will allow you to open up the web modeler and begin to model. When your diagram opens up in Web Modeler, you can certainly maximize the window and you can take advantage of the menus on the left as well as all these different options on the right. One of the things you can do, of course, is you can directly drag a, an activity, an activity into your swim lane. You can see your swim lane automatically resizes. When you start creating things on the diagram, the Urban Evolve 
web modeler will start to let you know when you need to do things. So you always have this running to-do list. You also have the ability to modify your palette, to uh, change styles, and to choose different diagram settings like showing the grid, snapping to grid, things like that. And you can also adjust the size of the grid. So all of that is available for you. And the animation, which you'll notice when I drag something into a swim lane, it will redraw it for me. That's part of the animation. And of course, if you'd like to, you can turn that off if you find that you're, you just want to get things done faster. It's just really part of your preferences. And as you can see now, I've added a couple of different activities to my diagram. I now have my to-do list set a name for an activity. And I can double click on that to-do and make changes instantly in my diagram. So I'm just going to call this one qualify. And as soon as I start typing in something, I can see my existing activities in the model. So I can choose, for instance, qualify and log call. Maybe that's what I want to do here. I'm going to hit save. And perhaps this one is qualify product needs. I can do that here and hit save. So these are my choices. I can specify some of the properties that will allow me to enable visualizations on my diagram. I'm diagramming on the diagram just as I normally would. I can add connectors. The connectors are added based on what's available to me on my palette. So I can do mandatory or optional based on how the palette is set up. I can also align things. So I can choose all three of those processes and then I can align them. For instance, I can vertically align them or horizontally align them. So for instance, we can align them horizontally in the middle. And I can do the same thing to these two. Bottom processes, I can align them in the center. We can always take our swim lane. We can send it to the back. We can send it to the front. So these are all things that are available to us. And all the things on the diagram can be aligned, adjusted, things like that. Once you are done with your diagram, of course, you can save your diagram, which will save a draft. In addition, you can simply publish this. And when you publish the diagram, that will make it available to anyone who is currently working on that diagram or seeing it. So to get back into our Evolve website to see the changes, we simply refresh the page as you would any other website and then drill down, for instance, on sales and marketing, manage sales to get to the place where we just were. So now we can see that we have qualified product needs and qualify and log call. Now this qualify and log call is something we use from another diagram. And you can actually see the message there. That is, this is not correct according to the template. And so we can actually go through and fix this qualify and log call. But perhaps better yet, for the sake of this presentation, we can change it here. It is qualify and log call. All we have to do is change this to an activity because I know that that's what the template requires. So now we can actually look at diagrams that this is on and go into this diagram, which is manage sales. I'm just going to refresh the page and we'll notice we'll be able to see that the process will actually fit the palette. So you can see qualify and log call was initially set as a task. We reused it on the diagram and made it an activity because that's how this diagram is configured. In addition, if you look at qualify and log call, we can see the criticality, the implementation. A qualified product needs also has the documentation right here, which of course means that I can click on that and be able to go to that site and wherever I might have information. Now, in addition to this, if I wanted to, I could create a drill down. I could navigate site to site. So I always have the navigation available to me that I would have in the Evolve modeler. So the web modeler and the modeler are able to give you all the features you need for modeling. We can create a drill down from qualify and log call. And in order to do that, we would simply go into qualify and log call and see if there's a drill down already in here. There's no published drill down. There is no draft. So I'm simply going to create a draft. I can choose which template to use for qualify and log call. I just had to drag that over so we could see it here. So let's give this a name, qualify and log call. This is our new diagram that we're creating from scratch. 
and I'll show you. And we're actually creating a drill down, and I'll show you that we don't have to create drill downs. We can also just create diagrams from scratch. But once you're here, we can simply begin to drag things onto the diagram. So we have an event, we could create a swim lane. When you create a swim lane, all we are going to do is drag a, an activity into the swim lane. It automatically places it in there for us. So when you create new swim lanes, uh, when new activities into the swim lane, the swim lane will be automatically resized. As you can see, that's happening right there for me. And of course, my to-do task list is growing because I need to name everything. Everything that's going to live in my diagram must have a name, whether it's a new name or an existing object. Also, you have choices for how your lines appear. So for instance, this line, we can make it a bent line versus a straight line. So these are always options you have. And we can, of course, also look at our diagram settings and show the grid, snap to grid. So these are options you can set to have so that as you create your diagrams, things are snapped to grid. And we can align these. And this, this is just a very quick way for us to create our content, to create our diagrams. And of course, we want to end with an internal result. And once again, let's connect everything. So now everything needs to have a name. You can see we have six things that need to be done before we can keep going. So let's just give everything a name. As we set up our activities, specify the implementation and criticality, and those will appear as shape regions. And we just have two, three things left. So we know we have the activity and results and the swim lane. So the swim lane right here, we'll call this sales organization. We can leave it undefined. We can specify cost and number of resources. So now you can see this is a sales organization. We have one more activity to name. And finally, this can actually just be I don't like to do this, but just for the sake of this presentation, we'll just say completed. Okay, once we've done this, we will go ahead and publish this diagram, qualify and log call. Now, when you return back to this web modeler view, one of the things that you'll notice here is that we have a plus button. So the plus button allows you to choose a diagram to work with. So you can create a diagram directly from here on the fly. You don't need to start from an existing object or an existing diagram. Now we'll go back into our Evolve website and simply just do a control of five to refresh the page. Now we don't have a draft anymore, but now we have a published diagram. Of course, we can see qualify and log call. This is our diagram. We have the ability to click on any one of the activities, any one of the events results and be able to see that information. We can go back to qualify and log call the object. We can go back to the the diagram, and again, we can start from the process architecture, which is how we got here in the first place, and go through the same navigation of the same path. Qualify and log call now has a little plus, and we can see the drill down. We can, of course, go back and forth between the diagrams, go up and down, and once again, we can go side to side. So to take advantage of all the Urban Evolve Suite 2020 changes we have discussed, we highly recommend that you schedule your one-on-one -on -one tool demo or request a trial at urban.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.